good morning guys we have some adulting to do today i don't know if it's gonna get done today but we're gonna get the process started for sure let me turn my air off because it's already cold in here i'm getting ready to call honda because i have a nail in my tire i'm surprised my tire has not went flat by now hi shahara i'm calling to see about how much it'll cost to get my tire plugged i have a nail in one of my tires it's about 45 dollars plus tax um, if it is repairable. Okay, I'll give you guys a call back. All right, have a good day. Thank you, you do the same. Thank you, bye. $45? Discount tire don't sound too bad. Y'all go watch my vlog if you haven't already. Thanks for choosing discount tire. At discount tire, we take pride in it. Thank you for choosing discount tire. I'm no, this is Kate, how may I help you? Hi, I was calling to see about how much it'll cost to get my tire plugged. I have a nail in my tire. Yeah, um, as long as you can uh, save and fix the spot, we can fix it for free for you. All right, do you guys have any availability today? We do, we take welcomes all day. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. I really do not feel like going to discount tire, but... It's looking like that's where we're going right now. Let me put some clothes on, get my work laptop together, and take my behind the discount tire. <clears throat> y'all, I need to get a car tripod because I like talking to y'all in my car, but I am at, I'm currently at discount tire. I'm actually leaving because they, they completed my tire in like 10 minutes, but my estimated wait time was like an hour 15 they told me i wasn't gonna get out until 11 15 it's 10 10 a.m so this is perfect because it's just in time before my morning meeting so i'm about to head home and get my work day started so i'll talk to you guys during my lunch break i guess what's up friends i am currently getting my pre-workout together i'm not going to the gym just yet but i do need to get out of this house i have my gym clothes on already so once i get done doing some work at starbucks all i have to do is go to the gym um i'm going to try to make it to the 4 30 time if not i'll go to the 5 30 time i just know i need to get as much work done as possible today all right y'all i made it to the gym i got my pre-workout right here today we are doing speed and agility i'm kind of nervous because i did not eat lunch today all i all i had was some water and a small bag of popcorn from starbucks <sighs> this feels so weird talking to you guys but welcome back to my channel it's your girl mariah perry and i'm back here with another video if you guys hear some background noise it's because I'm, the dishwasher is on and i'm currently washing and drying some items so i know it's been a minute since i've uploaded on youtube well i guess you can say i have been uploading but i've mainly been doing like youtube shorts reels and tiktok videos so my last youtube video was posted on last time i posted the youtube video was six days ago and this isn't going up until sunday slash monday so really two weeks i miss you guys i haven't touched my camera in a minute it seems like it's just like it just feels like a lot of things have been going on and yeah so let's start it off with me going to urgent care if you don't know 90% of the time I have my contacts in and the other 10% I'm wearing my glasses which I don't really like to wear my glasses because because I have oily skin like super oily skin and over time my glasses they slide down my nose that can often be a distraction to me and very annoying when I am working on my laptop um, but I made a big Ricky mistake so this is year two of me wearing contacts I made a big Ricky mistake by leaving my contacts in for days I mean days let's see I put my contacts in last Monday and probably didn't try to take them out until Saturday evening maybe I put them in on Tuesday and then try to take them out till Saturday night and that's when everything went downhill Originally, my optometrist put me on AccuView Oasis for astigmatism. That was the brand that I used last year. However, this year, I got moved to a new brand because my eyes got worse. So my prescription was a little bit stronger to suit my needs. 
but AccuView Oasis no longer provided my prescription, so we moved to the new brand. Now, I am in love with this new brand that I'm on. The contacts fit my eyes perfectly, don't even know they're there, and they just feel really good. AccuView Oasis, I kinda get the same feeling about AccuView Oasis that I do with my current brand, but the only thing with AccuView Oasis is that you can kinda feel the rim of the contacts sitting on your eye. So once I got moved to this new brand, I was really excited because it just feels so good and I can see perfectly. Saturday night, when I went to take my contacts out, because I was like, why are my contacts in? I go to take out my left contact. The contact is rolled back in my tear duct. And then this eye, this is where it went. This is where it went bad. So I was able to get this one out. And then when I was going to take this one out, I was pinching it. I was taking it out like I normally do, but nothing was coming off. But I didn't feel the contact coming down. So I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe it's so dry to the point that it's suctioned on my eye because when you're when your contacts dry out, that typically happens. I'm just playing with my eye. I mean, several minutes pass by and I'm still just playing with my eye trying to get this contact off of my pupil. So I thought it was on my pupil. So I go real close to the mirror and I kind of see like a, a hue of purple around my eye and I'm thinking that's the contact. Y'all, I take a Q-tip and I start like going at that whatever I'm seeing on my eye. Like it was so bad. I'm just like, why won't this contact come off? I'm freaking out. My eyes getting irritated. It's getting red. So I'm like, okay, maybe it rolled to the back of my eye like this one did. So I lift my eye up and I, I take my fingernail like a crazy person and start pulling. <laughs> I guess it's my eyeball. I don't wanna make this story longer than what it already is. Just know that I thought my contact was in this eye. Apparently it wasn't. So I went to urgent care because my eye was hurting so bad. I'm freaking out. I'm like, what if I lose my eyesight? The contact is just in my eye. I can't find it. I was so happy to get the urgent care because I just really needed a medical professional to see it. I didn't go to my optometrist because it's the weekend and they're closed. This is a medical emergency. What the heck is in my eye? If it's not a contact, then what is it? Why does my eye hurt? I have a little bit of footage of when I was at urgent care. Hot mess. I'm gonna show you guys that in a second. They finally get to my eye. They put some type of fluid in my eye where it turns my eye yellow. They numb my eye, put a fluid in my eye to make it turn yellow because once they shine the black light on it, it'll show like if there's anything on my eye, in my eye, if I have a cut in my eye or whatever. He said he doesn't see anything in my eye, guys. He says he doesn't see a contact in my eye. He checked like three times for a contact. I mean, thoroughly checked for a contact, did not find a contact. He says he may see a hair. He doesn't see it without the black light, but with the black light, he may see a hair. So I'm like, Oh my gosh, I know it's urgent care, but it's like, if you see it, then take it out. I'm saying that in my head, but I'm like, okay. It's good to know that the contact isn't sitting on my eye anymore. That's nice, but what the heck is in my eye? If it may be a hair. Flush my eye out with saline, some type of saline solution, basically fancy salt water. So here's a few clips of me trying to flush my eye out, which I did the night before with a full bottle of saline solution from CVS. If it looks like I've been crying and I look like a hot mess, it's because I have been and I do look like a hot mess. <laughs> I don't know what's in my eye. I think it's a contact lens stuck on my pupil in this eye, but I don't know. I don't know what's about to happen. We're gonna find out. So I do three bottles of their saline solution to try to flush my eye out over their sink. And obviously during that time, it feels okay because my eye has been numbed for the black light. So I feel fine while I'm doing it. I'm cleaning my eye out, cleansing my eye out. But once I, a few minutes later, once I sit down and the numbing starts to go off, I start to feel something in my eye again. So the doctor comes in, he's like, you're gonna have to go see an optometrist. 
because we did everything that we could do for you which was great i'm glad that they did because oh my gosh i'm talking so much y'all i'm so sorry i've been talking for 10 minutes already about this dang contact he was basically telling me that it, it would be best for me to see an optometrist they did everything that they could do at the urgent care facility which was true they did everything that they could do now that that's over second update is i got a puppy you guys if you guys follow me on tiktok if you guys see my youtube shorts or one of my reels on instagram then you guys will see that i got a puppy she is a chihuahua her name is penelope and she is now let's see i got her at seven weeks last week was eight and this is week nine so she's now nine weeks old she's growing right before my eyes here she is she just woke up from a nap so well, I woke her up from a nap. Okay, let me put her back so she can go back to sleep. She was in here sleeping. This is where I typically put her food. She had breakfast already. I'm trying to get her on some type of schedule so I can keep up with when she has to use the bathroom. And then I keep her leash, her harness, some other dog things in her... What would that be called? Um... Let's just call it a bin. She has some toys all over the place. I have her pads over there. Y'all... Look at her. I'll probably put her food back down around 11. It's currently 9.30. And now I need to get to work. After I done ran my mouth for 15 minutes. Hopefully it's not that long when I edit it. So now I'm done rambling and we can get... And we can get on with the show. By the time you guys know this is a week in my life. So I have some things I need to get done this week. And I want to bring you guys along with me. Back to Penelope. I made Penelope a TikTok. If you guys want to follow her... This is Penelope's TikTok, if you guys want to follow her. I was like, wow, the first three videos are over 600 or at 600 views. Those last two uploads, they're, I don't know. I don't know if they'll go up, but I was like, wow, 600, okay. And of course, if you guys aren't following me on TikTok, be sure to follow me on TikTok as well. So, got my work laptop. Thank you guys so much. I still have been in the gym getting it. Um, just let my eye feels better, to be honest. Let's see if any meetings have been canceled or moved. So, I have a meeting at 11.15. My creative director said I can bring Penelope to the creative meeting. So, I will have her on camera today. As far as potty training goes, I mean, this is her, this is the start of her second week with me. Last week was her first full week with me. As far as potty training goes, she's doing good. Obviously, I want to have her pad trained. I will take her out outside as well. But for the most part, being that I am a female, I don't have time to be going up and down the stairs all the time for my puppy to go potty outside. However, I will bring her outside. She does need some more shots, so I don't wanna take her outside just yet. But for the meantime, she will be pad trained. I'm about to wash my hands so I can make some oatmeal. Last night I had Olive Garden, but I wasn't really feeling too good because of my eyeball. I would honestly prefer eating my Olive Garden, but I think I would love it way more if I just waited till lunchtime and ate it during lunch. So I'm just going to eat some oatmeal to keep my stomach full for the day. I'm not going to go to the gym until the afternoon time because I do have some things that I need to do. Um, so I have been doing more like brand collaborations, which I'm really excited about. With that being said, I need to record a voiceover for a shapewear brand that I collabed with and I need to run to my mailbox to pick out to pick up some packages as well so that's what that's some stuff that's on my schedule today I also need to go to Walmart slash Target I'm about to put this in the microwave do y'all make y'all's oatmeal with milk or water I do water I was right I think this is Perfect, perfect, perfect. So y'all remember in July when I went to uh, Brazelton, Georgia for um, Danny's Bachelorette Weekend. By the way, if you guys haven't checked out those videos, make sure you guys do because that was an awesome time and that resort was really nice. This weekend, I'm going down to Columbia because she's having her bridal shower and I ordered my dress yesterday from Amazon. That didn't get here yet. 
and I ordered her gifts as well. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what's in his package because by the time you guys see this video, she'll already have her gifts. Danny and her husband or future husband do a lot of hosting at their house. And I know that Danielle is a fan of charcuterie boards. So I did end up getting her a charcuterie board. I have two more gifts for her coming on the way. I think she'll really like this. I hope she does not have a charcuterie board already. But this is like a really nice size one. And I think it'll fit in their home nicely. Yeah, I lose my phone all the time, so I gotta ping it from my watch. OMG. So I really feel like I've been doing really better with my eating habits during my fitness journey and i'm obsessed with the transformation like i obviously feel better i see my body transforming i'm trying to stay away from the scale now when i went to urgent care the other day and i had to step on the scale and i looked at the number i wasn't really happy with it but i know there's progress outside of what the scale says so i don't really weigh myself as much as i used to because i don't want to get caught up in that number i just want to keep on progressing by going to the gym eating healthier and just getting stronger forget what the skill says but yeah cheers to that so i'm basically looking if you guys don't know i'm a graphic designer if you're new here and if you're new here you also need to subscribe i'm basically looking on the dashboard to see what upcoming projects that I have coming up for this week. Uh, currently, I have two tickets assigned to me, one due on the 23rd and one due on the 28th. I'm pretty sure after our meeting today, every Monday we have a meeting at 11, but today is at 11.15. I don't know why, but whatever. So those are two NFL tickets that I have to do. And then after the meeting, I'm sure they'll talk about, we'll talk about some ideas to see what other tickets, what other graphics could be made for this week and next. So, so more things will most likely be assigned to me either today or later on throughout the week. I don't know where I wanna go with these designs, but we do have some cutouts that I need to do. Let's see, I have a total of three, six, nine, 12. I don't know how many cutouts will be on the second ticket because the players' names have not been put on it yet, but I do wanna get a head start on these cutouts because cutouts take time and also want to color correct them as well before I start designing. And while I'm cutting, doing cutouts, I'll step away and look up some inspiration. If you guys want a full, I think I did a few week work. I feel like I've done a few work with me, work week in the life. I have, I have those linked down in the description box below because this video will not be dedicated solely to me working. Obviously, I'm doing other things, but if you guys are interested in what I do for my career full time, make sure you guys check out those videos. I hate saying these things like right now it looks like it's going to be an easy work day, but but you just never know. Like Especially with working in the sports industry, things come out. Something is happening every day. Breaking news. There may be a graphic that needs to be made last minute. Honestly, I think I said I have to do 18 cutouts, but I totally forgot that I could go into our Google Drive to see if there are any recently uploaded photos of those players before I re-download from Getty Images. So I'm going to do that. And while I'm working on cutouts and waiting for my meeting, I'm going to be watching YouTube videos to keep me entertained while I'm working. If you guys have any YouTubers that you guys like to watch other than me, then please let me know because I'm looking for new YouTubers to watch. It looks like right now I'm about to watch Talitha Jane. Mm -hmm. I think she's getting ready to move into her condo and she has a moving series. Here she is. Shout out Talitha. I ran the light. But, um. Nah, but I did a video shoot. We're basically having our weekly creative call meeting, catching everybody up on what we're doing throughout the week. Likely pull from, I mean, highlights. Yes, yes. You guys know what time it is. It is time to eat my leftovers. I'm so excited because I'm very excited to eat this Olive Garden, y'all. Because yesterday, hold on, hold on, let me wash my hands. I'm so excited to eat my Olive Garden today because yesterday I couldn't enjoy it like I wanted to. It was supposed to be like comfort food, but I still wasn't really feeling it. But now. I'm feeling way better today than I did yesterday. Have some shrimp alfredo. This is gonna be so good. And I'm hungry. 
I'm going to burn all these carbs off at the gym today at 4.30. Stephanie is going to be going with me to burn boot camp today. But yeah, here's some mozzarella sticks. I'm just going to put everything on a plate. And I also have a breadstick left. This is going to be so good. I finished downloading all the photos that I needed for my first ticket. They gave me a shout out for my Inter Miami Lionel Messi graphic. It did really good on social media, so that made me feel good because I'm gonna grab me some of this. And that's why I love tomorrow because yesterday was not my day. It was a bad day yesterday, but today we move, Pinello. We move. Ah, okay. okay. I know I said y'all weren't gonna see me again until I'm getting ready for the gym, but I haven't vlogged in so long. I just wanna keep picking up my camera. Got my little blanket. Since I went ahead and downloaded all the photos that I needed from Getty and from the Google Drive, I can go ahead and start doing cutouts and Photoshop. So that way tomorrow I don't have to worry about doing cutouts. I'm still waiting on that one ticket to be completed to know what players need to have cutouts as well, but this is the boring part cut out. So I just want to get all those done today. They take time. So I'm just going to knock it out. Exactly what I said was going to happen. I can feel it happening. I'm referring to getting the itis from eating my Olive Garden. I'm kind of sleepy, but I'm going to keep on moving. I have no choice. I have things to do. And I feel like that's one of the worst parts about working from home on the days that I'm working from home is the bed is right there. Like, you guys know how tempting it is to lay in the bed? Of course, some days I'll work from my bed, but just being in the bed is a complete setup. Don't recommend. I'm currently in the Walmart parking lot, about to go inside to get my items. Hopefully I can get everything from here rather than going here and Target. Or if I can't find everything that I need in here today, then I'll just go to Target sometime this week. Yo, I'm still so tired from the gym. I need four plugins. No, I need two plugins and four plug and refills and I'm also going to get some more toiletries that I need that I ran out of. All right guys, I'm back from the gym so I'm going to show you guys some of, some of the things that I got. So, I ran out of my collagen. I was using the Ray Vegan Collagen, but I didn't really like it. I found that it like clumps up when I pour it into whatever liquid that I'm drinking, and I didn't really like that. This is the collagen that I usually lean towards because unflavored, it doesn't clump up, and it just works for me. That's my preference. Got some more body wash. Had to re-up on the plugins. Deodorant, lotion. Tylenol. Gotta have that Tylenol. You just never know. It's better to have than to want. And slash or need. Got some turkey bacon. Doing a seafood boil tonight, so I got some ingredients for that. Corn on the cob. Olive oil. Roger Woods. Steak. And I also got some shrimp. It must have fell out in my vehicle, so now I have to go all the way back downstairs to go see where that is because I don't want it to overheat in my car. Here are the plugins. Here's the two old ones. Y'all can tell they're old because they're yellow. I'm about to put one in the bathroom, kitchen, living room, bedroom. So I'm about to refill her food bowl for breakfast. There's some water. You can either add, add water or milk, but I do water just for some hydration and to soften up the food for her. Mm. And her water. This is the dog food that I give her and it's for six weeks to 18 months.
this is what I'm talking about. I have a lot of hair. In between styles, this is what I'm looking like. It's either this or a bun. So let's go ahead and put this thing in a bun so I can go to the gym. I literally only use two products to do my bun. The Curl Enhancing Smoothie as well as Eco Styler Gel. Y'all didn't know they redid their packaging because I was using the Wetline Extreme for a while. But this is my go-to gel for my hair. I feel like it just slicks it down. Especially with this Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Like these two go together real bad. For real, for real. My hair is already in three sections because I've been wearing a bun for the past week and a half. For the past week and a half. And it should be detangled for the most part. And make sure y'all stay tuned for that gym outfit of the day, okay? And honestly, this doesn't have to be perfect. I just need it to get me through gel. I've had this brush since basic training in 2018. These are my favorite kind of scrunchies. The ones without the glue, these are less likely to pop on me and my natural hair. And what I do is I just tie it around two times. That's one section. If y'all see something flying in the air, mind your business. Unless you come in and do this hair. Sometimes I like to take a small tooth comb. It just gets those little hairs underneath the surface level a little flatter. Y'all see that? So the hard part is over. Now I can just roll my braids up into a bun and I'm good to go. All right, I'm done for real. For the gym, I'm rocking this Nike dry fit tank top that I got from Burlington for like $5. For my bottoms, I'm gonna be wearing these Tom Tigger leggings that I purchased from Amazon. Y'all know where to find the link. Support your girl and use her link, okay? Cam, cam. The body is body, period. All right, y'all, we moved to the kitchen because I'm about to make my pre-workout. Have my pink shaker bottle from Amazon. Also, my sports bra is from Fashion Nova. Usually I put these in my pre-workout, but since I'm going to the gym in the afternoon today, I already had this with some orange juice this morning. This is my favorite pre-workout, flavor and all. Got some water. Now I'm rushing because I'm about to be late. Forgot to show y'all my sneakers that I wear to the gym. Nike Make Comforts, I think that's the name of them. Today's upper body day, so I'm really excited because I love working my upper body these days. But yeah, I'm about to leave the house. <sighs> I'm enjoying the summer. <sighs> Life is good. Life is good. Life is great. I feel like having pool talk. Oh, my eye feels so much better, let me tell you. Why does this piece always get frizzy after a while? But I'm walking around looking like a soccer mom because I'm about to take my child to go get her shots. And then after that, we are going to go see a venue that I'm supposed to be hosting my mom's 50th birthday at in October. You ready to go? Penelope. Hello. You ready to, okay. So I just wanted to update you guys so you guys know what's going on because I know once I get to moving and shaking, I tend to forget to update you guys. All right, y'all, Penelope just got a deworming vaccine and a DHPP vaccine. And this is where I came to, Palmetto Lifeline in Columbia, South Carolina. They have a caravan where they do vaccinations and things like that for the dogs for a very affordable cost. And for those two 
um, vaccinations, it only cost me $20. So I'm going to come back in three to four weeks to give her her DHPP shot again. Hi, baby. All right. Y'all, this girl just peed on the floor. I just got back from the gym, so I don't know why she couldn't just make it to the training pad, but whatever. Y'all, leg day is dangerous. I'm about to drink my protein shake. The trainers over at Burn Boot Camp be whipping my behind. I still didn't wash her. The goal is to do it today. We gotta wash you today. You know why? Because you stinky winky. Y'all, yesterday, when she was using the restroom, there were worms. Because when she got her vaccine, she got the deworming vaccine. So now there's worms coming out. And I'm like... I don't know how long that's supposed to last, but I don't know how long. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to deal with it because worms? She had worms? So I'm currently at the car wash. This morning I got up and got my toes done because tomorrow I'm going down to Columbia for Danny's bridal shower. Once we get home, I need to show you guys some of the things that came in from Amazon. I think I showed you guys the charcuterie board box. Um, but before I do that, I am going to vacuum out my car because I still, my car is really dirty and I just want it to be clean. And I need it to smell good. Like, I like my car to just be clean. I guess that's the moral of that story. And this is some time that I can do it, so I'm going to do it. And then once I'm done with here, I'm going to go to Aldi to get some groceries. Because I'm coming back home tomorrow, same day. And when I get back from the bridal shower, I just don't want to have a lot of things that need to be done errands-wise. But it felt good to be able to get my nails done today because... The French tip was beginning to look a little old and I just didn't like it anymore. I'm going to get my car clean, get some groceries, and knock out some other things that need to be done at home today as well. That smells really good. Here's a before of what my car looks like. I mean, it's not dirty, but there's dust, dust, trash, got dog food. There's gunk in the cup holders. There goes the dog pad. It's my back seat. I just want to vacuum and get it looking good and get rid of whatever is in here. So I just finished cleaning the inside of my car. I'm going to have to go home and get a disinfecting wipe to get the things around my cup holder, but for the most part, the inside of my vehicle is clean. The outside is still kind of dirty, like when I was walking around the car, I still saw dirt around the rims and there's some dirt near the license plate, but I just don't have time to really worry about it right now. 90% of my car is clean, that's really what I wanted, so now we're good to go to Aldi. I made it back home from Aldi. Here is an overview of what I got. Bread, ground turkey, salmon, pork chops, chicken wings, some shrimp, tortilla chips, shredded cheese, sliced cheese, some honey turkey breast, applesauce for in the morning when I'm getting ready to go to the gym. I like to put a little something on my stomach and applesauce is my go-to. More chef salad. I forgot to get more croutons. Spaghetti, ran out of that. Um, salsa and cheese, spaghetti sauce, my favorite protein bars from Aldi, this is strawberry flavor, and some lettuce. Also got some bathroom cleaner, but I left that in my car because I couldn't carry it. Alright y'all, I just got done working on my laptop a little bit. I also ate lunch. I'm going to go ahead and pack Danny's bridal shower gifts now so I don't have to worry about it later or tomorrow morning when I'm getting dressed. Because um, y'all know I do have to get on the road. Oh, 
So I already showed you guys the charcuterie board. This is, let's see. I got her a wedding thumbprint picture frame. Um, I really don't want to take it out this cardboard, but to show you guys, I will. Here's what it looks like. They'll put their picture in the picture frame and then they'll use the thumbprint ink to put their thumbs on here in the shape of a heart. So I thought that was really cute. I'm honestly new to this. I'm not really sure what you're supposed to get for bridal shower gifts and things. Is it mainly for the bride? I mean, that sounds like common sense because it's called bridal shower, but I don't know. I think this is, what is this? Yeah, I don't know what's gonna fit in this tiny behind thing, but I wish I opened this earlier because I would've got another bag from Family Dollar when I went earlier because once I got my nails done, I went ahead and got some press on nails instead of getting my nails done at the nail salon. And this itself, like this bag plus the card, and I guess I could tape this onto the charcuterie board like that and then it'll match the packaging for this because this was $6.99 like what I think that's what I'm gonna do um so I'm gonna have to run to the mailbox sometime today to get the last thing for her gift it's a pouch that looks like this from Amazon just something fun that she can use for packing I'm not sure if I mentioned to you guys that the wedding is a destination wedding. So we'll be traveling in October. I'm so excited. Here's my dress that I'll be wearing tomorrow at the bridal shower. It's supposed to be a soft pink. It's giving baby pink. I feel like this pink could be a little bit softer, but whatever. As y'all can see, I have made it to Danielle's bridal shower. The theme was soft pinks and nudes. Everybody came correct. It was a beautiful event. Danny was extremely excited. I'm so happy for her. I already know the wedding next month. Well, not next month. I'm getting ahead of myself. And October is going to be beautiful. I literally cannot wait. I'm so happy to be one of her bridesmaids. We're going to have a blast. The bridal shower was amazing. And yeah. The breakfast at Easy Like Sunday in Charlotte is Bussin. The drinks are bussin. The food is bussin. Y'all saw what I got? The shrimp and grits bussin. That's all I'm gonna say. Bussin. All right, guys, I'm leaving breakfast. That concludes the end of this vlog. I will see you guys next week. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below.